The future is here. Imagine being able to control all your devices with the wave of a hand, just like Minority Report. Translate instantly, take notes. That's what the L-Ring 2 promises. And in the week I've been using it, I have to say it does kind of deliver. Let me preface this by saying that the device I've been using is still in development and they're actively working on new updates and new features. But even as is, it's a mind-blowing device and this past week that I've been using it, it was really fun, really accurate and really useful. I even took it on a little trip with me and it got me out of some sticky situations. Why do they drive on the wrong side of the road in Britain? So let's find out what the L-Ring 2 has to offer. So the 2 all L-Ring 2 comes in this typical minimalist packaging that I love. Once you open it up, what you see is not the ring itself, it's this nice little charging case. And right off the bat, this isn't your standard charging station or charging case that just, you know, serves to top up the ring when it's run out of charge. This one actually comes with its own use cases, you know? And I even found the case to be almost more useful than the ring itself, and we'll see why. Inside the charging case is the ring. Also within the case, once we open it up, are, I mean, obviously the instructions, the charging cables, but even more useful are these little silicone bands that allow you to adjust the ring to your finger size. And this is something I find incredibly useful because so many of uh, the smart rings out there, you need to make sure you buy the right size for you. Um, but with the 2-All L-Ring 2, it's just one standard ring. Find the silicone uh, band that fits your finger, whichever finger you need, and there you go. Before we dive into the functionality itself, let me just say the ring is incredibly light. Uh, that's one of the first things I noticed when I picked it up. I saw the size and I was thinking, oh, that's gonna be a heavy ring. But no, thanks to the materials, um, I barely feel that I'm wearing it on my finger. And if we dive into the tech specs, the ring is just under three grams at 2.8 grams. And the charging case itself also incredibly light at 33 grams. It has a battery life of 10 hours and a charging time of 1.5 via USB-C, which is always great. And it connects via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.1. And surprisingly, the ring also has a waterproof rating of IP67. You won't catch me swimming with it, but it's nice to know that it will survive a light splash or a walk in the rain. Now, on to the features, which is really what this review is all about. So let's start with the ring. The reason we're all here. The L-Ring 2 positions itself as an air mouse, and it does everything that you'd expect a normal mouse to do, just in the air and so much cooler. Anything from scrolling, switching tabs, using your mouse to click and point, play, pause, videos, whatever you can think of doing with your mouse, you can do with the Air-Ring, and it's, it's a little bit hard to use initially, I must say. Um, and the first time I was using it, I thought there's a bug, this isn't working. But it turns out that it's just the learning curve. Once you've got the gestures down, it responds quickly and accurately to your every command. It's easy enough to connect to any device, Windows, Mac, it can even work on Android phones. I personally don't really see why I'd be using a swipe gesture to scroll my phone in the air when I could just be touching the screen. But the real functionality shines when you're using a computer, especially in presentations. That's at least how I imagine most people will use this device professionally. Me personally, I don't give too many presentations, so I had to find another perfect use, and that I did. Sitting at home, watching movies, on the TV, via my computer. Normally, I'd have to get up, pause, rewind, click the buttons on the computer, but right now, from my couch, I can just click this button here, play, pause, I can use the mouse feature to just move around and scroll through the movie, whatever it is, without even having to get up off my couch. Perfect. And I just want to say again how crazy light this ring really is. I'd be sitting on the couch, watching movies, flicking my wrist to scroll through, play, pause, do whatever. I'd look down and realize it's not even on my wrist. That's how light this device is. Now onto the charging case. 
And calling it a charging case isn't really accurate because really it's so much more. This thing records meetings, interviews, notes. It has an AI chat that you can talk to and it does live translations. Let's dive into each one of those in more detail. Once it's connected to your phone, clicking the first button here starts recording notes. And it's great at capturing your voice, isolating it from the noise around you, transcribing it in great detail and very accurately and saving it so that you can read it later. Hello AI, how long does it take to go through security control at Manchester airport? Let's see. Okay, perfect. But it doesn't end there. Thanks to ChatGPT, they pass that transcription through a summarizer and you get a perfectly bulletproof list of the points that you spoke about or in the meeting that you discussed. And while that might be enough for a short note, for longer meetings with lots of participants and complex topics, to all have added this useful mind map feature that contextualizes and divides it by the topics you've discussed so you can quickly just scroll around the meeting and see what the most important points were. Just click the AI button, speak into the charging case, and you'll see it accurately transcribe your question and quickly and helpfully respond in the conversational chat GPT style we're all used to. And that's not all for the AI features. Click this last button here and it'll open the translation on your phone. My prototype device currently supports English, French, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. And I hear they're already working on integrating Spanish, German, and many more languages. And with its live interpretation functionality, it can translate a whole room of different languages. So even if different people are speaking in different languages at different times, you don't need to wait for one person to finish to see what the other person's saying. It's translating them all at the same time. I didn't have a chance to use this live translation on my trip to the UK recently because everyone speaks English already. But I did get a chance to try out the French translation with a colleague at work and it was surprisingly accurate and fast at translating what we were both saying. Bonjour Dan, très bien, merci et toi. Uh, Aujourd'hui j'ai mangé du pizza et toi? Yeah, I captured it pretty well. Was it a good pizza? I still haven't eaten and I'm very hungry. And finally, just in case your smart ring runs out of power, the charging case can also be used as a pointing device and to control your computer. With play, pause, scroll and different actions from copy, paste, mouse usage and everything else you need. Now, depending on your use case, this really is a great device to use. It's super intuitive, easy. Once you've got past the learning curve of the gestures, it's, immediate, it's instantly responsive and all of the AI functionality really is great. And let's remember, at launch, this is cost just $160. Compared to smart rings that only really do like health tracking or sleep tracking and cost well over $300, this is quite a bargain. But it doesn't come without a few flaws. Now remember, this is still a prototype device, so I imagine a lot of these bugs will be solved and the features will be improved before it's delivered to you, as they're mostly software related things. Let's start with the app. The app is a little bit clunky to use. It's still in beta. But things like constantly having to set the notes of my language to English, that should be, just be a global setting that I can set once and it knows that all of my notes are in English unless I say otherwise. When turning the device on or waking it up after sleep, the Bluetooth doesn't connect to your phone automatically. So you have to open the app, connect it. That to me is just a flaw in user experience. I wanna just be able to turn it on, click the button, start recording notes, start uh, talking to the AI chat without having to open the app make sure it's connected. That was also buggy sometimes. I'd have to close down the app, open it again. When it connects, everything works fine, but they could just streamline that process as well. And that brings me to my biggest gripe, that you still need a phone at all. I mean, for things like taking notes, it'd be great if it had internal memory and I could just click the button, record the note without having to check to make sure if it's recording on my phone correctly or not. With the AI chat, it'd be great if I could just click it connected to my Bluetooth headphones and receive the response via audio so I don't have to take out my phone again. If I'm taking out my phone, I might as well just be using ChatGPT. 
And similarly for the translation, it'd be great if instead of just speech to text and you can see the translation on the screen, if it could also convert that text back to speech and you could hear what other people are saying in your own language. Minor things, and I imagine all of these things will be addressed in future updates, but I might as well say them here. So that's the L-Ring 2 and the even more impressive L-Ring charging case. A nifty little chat GPT powered device that packs a ton of functionality into its small factor, going above and beyond what other smart rings do for only a fraction of the cost. I hope you enjoyed the review. See you next time.